Hi there. Welcome to the tutorial for dismemberment and bone break. In this one we're going to be discussing how to swap out the animations and understanding how the animations work for the um, animation damage states. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the weapon one. So we just go to blueprints, weapons, and let's just pick up the pistol. If we go to here, now click on the component and here we'll see under animation list ST owning character weapon animation state. So for the sake of this uh, tutorial I'm just going to cover one of the states just because if you understand how one works all of them will make sense in the end. So what I've done is I've made an extremely dirty aim offset here and a rubbish little static mesh and we'll give this a bash. So for the pistol what we'll do is we'll just add this wee static mesh in. I'm just going to give us a wee, wee melee object to, to work with. Yep, that's terrible. And I'll remove the gun. As you can see here, we have the aim offset and the ADS. Now I don't want to have an ADS available, so disable this. And then I'll just add in the aim offset for the two-handed sword and this one into here as well. I don't want to change out the, the reload, um, but it's going to be in essence irrelevant. You can just wipe this out in your weapon logic that reload's not a thing for a melee and just not call that option. So what we're going to do, we're just going to swap out the fire animation for the slash montage and if we start the game we should see if I pull back the pistol option we have a wee sword character turns the animations will blend depending on the state of the movement Obviously, we're still firing the line trace at the moment, but you get the point. So hopefully this has given you a rough idea on how to, to update the, the appropriate animations for a weapon. Create as many weapons as you want, add them into the pack, apply the appropriate weapon data for the animations, and jobs are good in. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, hopefully see you in the next one.